Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Karen and I review perfumes. I talk about perfumes, I'm a frag head, and I'm assuming you are too if, if you're here. So I was a little bit inspired the other day when I was at the cottage, I started reading this book. You know, there's a movie coming out with, um, oh, what's her name? Blake Lively called It Ends With Us and it's from a book by Colleen Hoover. And I decided I wanted to read this book, so uh, I downloaded the Kindle version and I read about a third of it. I was immediately hooked and then I read about a third of it and then I had to drive home from the cottage and I wanted to know what happened. So then I downloaded Audible and you get a month free, so it was I didn't have to pay, but I listened to almost all of it coming home and then I finished it. At home I think the next that night and then the next day anyways it's a really good book and um, it's actually a serious subject it's about uh, domestic violence relationships but I don't want to get into that here because it's really not the right time or place to talk about as such a serious and important subject which I, I totally get it I abhor domestic violence people that do that or perpetrate it anyways but in the story, the main heroine, the main character is, uh, she runs a florist shop. She owns and runs a florist shop. And it made me think about, um, one of my favorite gifts is to give flowers to people as a thank you or whatever. I love giving flowers. I love getting flowers. I love flowers. Um, and I was thinking about perfumes that smell like flowers. I know we've been saturated lately with uh, gourmand perfumes vanilla perfumes, but I wanted to highlight some really nice uh, floral fragrances. And so I decided to choose 10. Today I'm going to talk about 10 white floral fragrances. So these are perfumes that are heavily white floral. Um, I mean, I could include the other colors in it, but I just wanted to narrow it down. So the first one that I was going to talk about is Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian. It's been around since uh, for 12 years. So it's been around a long time. It's got tuberose. It's got jasmine. It's got some citruses up top. There's a little bit of fruit. There's a little bit of peach that gives it a little bit of fuzziness. One of the few perfumes that has peach in it that doesn't, that I, that I actually like. I love this one so much. I always say like, definitely, I think, I don't know if I've ever done my top 10 for life, but Anyways, I love this and I imagine this is what a really nice florist shop would smell like. So, Good Girl Gone Bad by Killian. The next one is a designer. It's been around for a few years. This is My Way by Giorgio Armani. I've talked about it before. This also, well, we're talking white floral, so they're all going to have similar notes, but this is Orange Blossom tuberose, a little bit of fruit, it's got bergamot, what else, jasmine, there's a little bit of vanilla and there's a musky cedar dry down, but you definitely, I would say, orange blossom, but it is cut by the tuberose and the vanilla kind of softens it. It's a really nice balance, it's very, very, it's very floral, but it's also like super professional like I imagine if you had like I don't know I feel like Kamala Harris would wear this I don't know do you think what do you think Kamala Harris wears my way let's hope she gets her way right um let's not get political the other one is also uh an orange blossom one this has orange blossom sugar and vanilla so these are similar they're both orange blossom vanilla but this one is um, a lot sweeter and has a lot more vanilla and so it comes across as more marshmallowy and it's called uh, in French Guimauve de Noël so uh, Christmas marshmallow it's quite sweet quite fluffy very pretty and fun like it would be really a nice honestly a nice perfume to wear at Christmas it's very sweet it's very young the next one is not as young smelling. This is a green white floral. So this is part of the Gucci Bloom line. It's one of their flankers. This flanker is from 2018. 
So not everyone is into green fragrances, I get it, but also not everyone is into vanilla and gourmand. So I like this one a lot. It kind of, you know, this has galbanum in it, which is like sort of a very green, bitter flower. And it's surprisingly lovely. Like if you're into floral, if you're into smelling like a garden, a flower shop, if you're into smelling like a flower shop, this gets it because it smells like cut flowers. So it has honeysuckle, tuberose, jasmine, lily of the valley, and freesia, but also gal galbanum leaf, cassis, bergamot, lemon. Yeah, I really like this one. Um, I would say mature, but I don't like saying that because then people think grandma-ish. It's not grandma-ish. It's just elegant, effortless, a dry white floral. Very, very pretty. If you haven't tried it, try to get your nose on it. This one, one of my most favorites. I love lilacs. I love lilacs. They grow around here in the spring. I love the white ones, the purple ones, the violet ones. I love them so much. They, oh my God. So this is, um, it has white floral in it, but it's more of a purpley smelling. Let me see. It ha it's listed as lilac, jasmine, angelica, that gives that greenness, honeysuckle, orange blossom, and galbanum. So it is a, a sweet floral that smells like lilacs. It smells like purple flowers. Again, it also smells like walking into a floral shop. It has that kind of watery lightness. Very, very, very pretty. This is Lilac Path by Erin. Love, love, love that one. So, so pretty. The other one is, or the next one is Terracotta Le Parfum by Guerlain. This I've talked about before. This is cherry flower, jasmine, ylang ylang. It has orange blossom, vanilla, musk. So, yeah, you really get the yellow floral in here. I mean, I know you don't get really yellow florals in a perfume shop. I don't think but it's definitely it has that floral smell that's do you know like sometimes flowers they almost they they're a little bit animalistic there's a little bit there's a there's a they're sweet and then there's dry and then there's the area where it almost can venture into like a bad smell and this isn't bad smelling but it's yeah, it has a little bit of like that animalistic kind of smell, but it doesn't go too far and the vanilla softens it. It's very beachy. It's very floral. It's very, very pretty. One of my favorites, Terracotta by Guerlain. The next one is Tuberosa. I haven't smelled this one in a while, actually. This is fun. I get to try all my perfumes. This one is a tuberose heavy perfume, obviously. Oh, this is really, oh, okay, it smells different than the other ones. Ylang Ylang Orange Blossom, Artemisia, Orange, Tuberose, Magnolia, Jasmine, Marigold, Vetiver, Amber, Musk, Sandalwood. So how would I describe this one? I, I would get more of the, I would say more of the Tuberose and the Magnolia it's more um, fluffy, but not an orange blossom fluffy. It's a, oh yeah, that phrase, that bubblegum, bubblegummy tuberose. It's a soft tuberose. It's an easy to smell tuberose. It's not offensive. It's very, very pretty. It's very floral, but in a nice, easy, approachable way. If you haven't tried it, I highly recommend it. I don't really hear too many people talking about it. And it's very, very pretty. Tuberosa by Nishane. So the next one is Real Radiance. So this one is a body spray. I love this one. I love, oh my God. I ordered a new, 
a new one yesterday. I think it was 59. It's a blue Rio de Janeiro. I don't know. So this citrus vanilla white floral. Let me see. I think it's tuberose. No, where did it go? I lost it. Yeah, it is. It's tuberose, ylang ylang, and then it's got coconut, something called a, a sand note, vanilla and amber. So it's a white floral, but it's like soft, buttery. I don't know. The coconut and the sandalwood give it like a, a softer, creamy kind of touch to it. It's very reasonably priced. Of all the Sol de Janeiro's, I like this one the best of the ones I've smelled. I haven't smelled them all, but some of them are more, I would say, they seem more um, sweet and youthful. This one, this one is a little more mature, a little more dry. Very, very pretty. Tuberose, Coconut and Vanilla, Real Radiance by Sol de Janeiro, if you want to get your nose on that one. And then um, the next one is, what am I talking about? So the next one is Bora Bora by Giardini di Toscana. This one came out, I think it was 2022 or 2023. So it's a lot like um, terracotta, I would say, it has the jasmine, it has the ylang ylang, but this one, and coconut, but this one has caramel in it and apricot and so it's a little bit sweeter a little more sunscreeny but in a good way I don't know people use sunscreeny as a bad thing but I love those coconut sunscreens they smell good to me yeah this one um was hyped up a lot a year or two ago and it's it for a reason the quality is very good it smells very very beautiful it would be great for a summer vacation, for you know, a tropical island getaway, for those of you that are so lucky to go on a tropical island getaway. I wish, eh? The last one is um, oh, Carner Barcelona. This is Latin Lover. Oh, Latin Lover. So I recently reviewed um, a discovery set from this house and I really quite like this house actually. This one is very pretty. I like this one so much. Um, I get a sweet citrusy floral vibe. It's got a lot of different florals. This one smells like the whole floral shop. It's got everything in there. It's not just tuberose it's an orange blossom. It's also got like, what else does it have? Lily of the Valley, Narcissus, Violet. It's got a little bit of Magnolia. Very, very pretty very feminine yeah so those are my 10 perfumes that kind of made me think of a florist shop um, they're all kind of heavy white florals i mean focused on white florals um what are your favorite white florals please give me a flower down below if you're still here thank you for watching give me a thumbs up if you can and subscribe take care bye